on my 12th birthday, uh, I was given this book, Gitanjali, a collection of Indian poems by Rabindranath Tagore. And my teenage years were spent going over this book over and over and over again. And uh, I got so caught up by this uh, great seer sage, uh, Rabindranath Tagore, that in moments of teenage anguish, teenage uh, heartbreak, in moments of stress uh, during medical school, and then coming to America and uh, starting my internship and residency with all the stressful events, working in the emergency room um, and uh, seeing death every moment. Um, every time I felt um, overwhelmed, I went back to reading this book. Now it is tattered. It has a tattered cover, but it has never left my side. And uh, I realized today that, uh, that uh, you know, we are so caught up in the mundane that uh, we do not uh, actually um, celebrate life. Uh, poetry is a reminder, good poetry, as T.S. Eliot said. Uh, poetry is a raid on the inarticulate. So... In these days of seriousness, I, I go back to Tagore sometimes to find solace of the great mystery of our existence. And I'm taking the liberty to share a couple of poems with you today. And if you like them, then I'll continue to share them with you. It says, I was not aware of the moment when I first crossed the threshold of this life. What was the power that made me open out into this vast mystery like a bud in the forest at midnight? When in the morning I looked upon the light, I felt in a moment that I was no stranger in this world, that the inscrutable without name and form, the inscrutable without name and form, had taken me in its arms in the form of my own mother. Your mother is the divine, inscrutable, without name and form, as the appearance of the divine mother. Even so, in death, the same unknown will appear as ever known to me. And because I love this life, I know I shall love death as well. The child cries out when from the right breast the mother takes it away, in the very next moment to find in the left one its consolation. When I go from hence, let this be my parting word, that what I have seen is unsurpassable. I have tasted of the hidden honey of this lotus that expands on the ocean of light, and thus I'm blessed. Let this be my parting word. In this playhouse of infinite forms, it's so beautiful. In this playhouse of infinite forms, I've had my play, and here I have caught sight of the divine that is formless. My whole body and my limbs have thrilled with his touch, who is beyond touch. And if the end comes here, let it come. Let this be my parting word. So, my friends, every moment of this kind of presence is... Um, is uh, amazing, liberating, and uh, and uh, takes us from the mundane to uh, to the divine. I'll share one more with you. I know that the day will come when my sight of this earth shall be lost, and life will take its leave in silence, drawing the last curtain over my eyes. Yet stars will watch at night and morning rise as before and hours heave like sea waves, casting up pleasures and pains. When I think of this end of my moments, and by the way, that end has to come for all of us. The barrier of the moments breaks and I see by the light of death, 
God's world with its careless treasures. Rare is its lowliest seat. Rare is its meanest of lives. Things that I long for in vain and things that I got. Let them pass. Let me but truly possess the things that I ever spurned and overlooked. So much more joy in the midst of the mundane. Poetry saved my life as I was going through the throes of teenagehood and medical school and internship uh, and uh, all the death that I saw in emergency rooms moment after moment because um, as adults we've lost our innocence. Um, everybody's talking of stress management. Stress management, stress is resistance to existence. If there's no resistance, there's flow, there's poetry, there's music, there's dance, there's celebration, there's, there's uh, play. And without play, there's no joy. Share your thoughts with me on digitaldepark.ai and let's continue our exploration, continue our exploration into these great mysteries of our existence.